Hi everyone. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. How are you guys? How is everyone? Hi Jane. Hi Scotty. Congratulations Jane. You won. Hi Brenda. I know. Hi Colleen. I know you won. You won. I'm so thrilled for you. So today we're going to make some stuff with painting papers. We're going to actually make jewelry with painting papers. Jewelry and maybe some wine charms and I don't know. Hi Deb. Jane, I'm so excited. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Dawn. I'm so excited for you. Hey, Susan. Everybody show Susan some big love. I'm going to show you guys some really cool stuff that I got. And then I'm going to show you we're going to make some painty paper jewelry. So all you need to do to make along is you need your painty papers and you need either a punch or you can, you can, um, oh my gosh, my head's sieve. You can fussy cut it if you want. You need a glue stick. You need either some sort of a marker to do the edging. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Jan. Hi, Diana. Hi, Jillian. Um, please check my sound. Okay. I thought I did, but I will check it again. Hi, Pam. Okay, is that better? Is that better? I'm good. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Cassandra. Hi, Anne. Hi, APG Jamie. I loved your rack. It was awesome. So if you guys want to make along, we're going to make various and sundry um Painty paper jewelry. These are the pair that I made so far. Painty paper jewelry. Hi, Teresa. Is it better? Oh, good. So we're going to make some painty paper jewelry. That's what we're going to make today because I have, my daughter came home and told me I have 11 teacher gifts to give. It was awesome. That rack you got was awesome, Jamie. It was really, I loved the little book. I loved all of it. So you guys, these are my painting magazine pages, and then the back is a cereal box. So you need painting papers, either some sort of a cereal box or, you know, something like that. And I went to our cheap, um, I went to the, you know, the big box store, and I got some cheap um, jump rings, little, little jump rings like this. You don't need to have those. If you have ear wires, you can just use those. And they didn't have ear wires, you guys. So I just got some head pins. And um, I'll show you guys how to make some ear wires from those. And that's it. Aren't they cute? Like, they don't need to know that they're recycled magazine pages, right? And that I painted on them. Hi, Joyce. Okay, everybody say hi to Pat. It is crafty time. But before we do crafting, I want to show you guys what I got in the mail. I got some really cool stuff. Thank you guys for everybody that sent me Christmas cards. I will show them to you. They're super awesome. So if you're going to make a long, you need painting papers. You need like a cereal box or a Pop-Tart box. You need um, a punch of some kind. However, whatever shape you want to punch yours in um and glue stick i'm painting the back of mine with metallic paint because i have cheap metallic paint like the back of the the brown box so you can use whatever you want and that's it oh and a push pin you need a push pin so you can poke your holes in everyone's saying hi pat jan is colleen is jamie is brenda is joyce is hi trace um, Nana is, Colleen is, everybody's saying hi. Hi, Ree. So everybody, Jane won Nana's giveaway, and we are all excited and a little jealous 
I will admit it, we're just a tiny bit envious. So we hope that you show us what's inside the box. Okay, okay, Jane, can you take some pictures and post them in the group? No, we're happy for you, Jane. And it was an awesome giveaway. You did a great job. Hi, Jillian. Jillian saying hi, Pat. And Liz is saying hi, Pat. How are you, Liz? Cassandra is, Susan is, Joyce is, Jillian is. Everyone's sending you love. Jane, we love you, and you are so deserving. I'm jo Hi, Malia. And she's sending in love to you too, Pat. And so is Edna. So we all love you. So today we're going to make some painting paper earrings or some wine charms or whatever you want to do. We could even make um, some bookmarks and stuff too. But before we do that, I want to show you guys the most awesome things that I got in the mail. I just have to share because they're from you guys. So let me clean up my space. Oh my gosh, you guys, right before I started, my neighbor decided he was going to work on his car right in front of where I video and he listens to the bass of his computer up, I mean his car up as loud as possible let's just say Cotty was home and I begged Cotty to go outside and ask him to stop so the first thing that I got is I got this from Renee isn't this beautiful look at this this is from Renee I'm so paper obsessed. Isn't it beautiful? So she made it out of upholstery samples and look at what she wrote her letter to me on magazine, painting magazine pages with a big tag, it's a big tag and with a huge button. And then she um, sent me, she made, look at this, isn't this really cool? Look at her mixed media textile um, pocket. Can't wait to put it in a journal and look at, well, maybe I won't, it has a belly band on the back. Oh, darn. Okay, I'll have to figure out. Oh, and look at the paperclip embellishment that she made. Isn't that cool? You can, it's like with one of those really cool safety pins. Can you guys see it? <coughs> Hi, Lori. <clears throat> anyway, so she, she made me this tag, which is really cool, and she made me this one. And then she sent me, look, you guys, she makes essential oils, and she sent me something for my shoulder, and it smells amazing, and I've been using it. Came in the mail yesterday, and I love it. Thank you for my Christmas present. I love it, love it, love it so much. And she's very talented. And I love, I love the whole mixed media paper fabric pockets. It is beautiful, isn't it? So that came from Renee. And I'm appreciative. And I used it already. I used it on my shoulder yesterday. I used it, used it a couple times today. All right, I'm going to show you guys my Christmas cards first. And then I get to show you what my secret sister sent me. Okay. So my secret sister kind of went above and beyond, and she really went above and beyond. I will show it to you, but let me show you the cards first. So this is from Shannon, and it's a cool card. Wait till you guys see. I know. It was really nice, wasn't it? Okay, look at this card. Isn't it cool? It's all die cuts. And it says Merry Christmas and then she sent me a tag inside and she just said that she loves us and she loves hanging out with us here and I love it it's awesome I'm gonna make a journal after Christmas with all the Christmas cards that I get because I've gotten a bunch and I'm really enjoying them and I guess I've opened them up but I don't remember who they're from actually I let my little one open them up and if I don't watch sometimes she doesn't keep the envelopes because she doesn't understand the importance of keeping envelopes because She's 11. Isn't this one beautiful? Look at all like the really cool little bits and pieces. It kind of looks like the lights are on. And this is from Melody. Look at the inside. And she sent she wrote me a beautiful letter, which I love. And I love the card. It's really beautiful. And look at all the cool little bits and pieces she sent me. And I'm going to use them. Her embellishment. She sent me some embellishments and some playing cards. And I'm going to use them. And I love it. And I'm trying, I'm trying to keep all the envelopes together with the cards so that when I um, actually put them together in a journal. And this one came from Vicky. And look at it. It's so cute. Be merry and bright. Isn't that sweet? I love it. Thank you, Miss Vic. Vicky, yes. Miss Vicky, yes. And I love it. 
And this one came from, I don't know, because it doesn't have a name on the front. But I love this Christmas card, Old Fashioned Christmas. This came from Malia. And look, she sent me tags. You guys know my thing with tags. Love me some tags. Definitely going to go in my journal. And I love it. Thank you, Malia. And this came from, oh my gosh, Trish sent me one of her. I got so excited. It must have sounded like the most ridiculous schoolgirl squealing. I got one of Trish's amazing painted paper, painted magazine page, painted paper cards. Okay, I love it. Look at her card. Isn't it beautiful? And then she did all the painty paper stuff on it. And it's that scrapbook paper. It's the back side of the scrapbook paper that she cut up. Like, look at it. It's so gorgeous. She made a little ATC for the inside so that I can take it out and use the whole card. But, like, look. This is what she did with her scrapbook paper that she doesn't like. She cut it up. And she made her own sort of serendipity paper. And she did hers much nicer than I do mine. Because you know me. I do mine in random. Hers is, like, all neat and tidy. But I love the card. Isn't it just so beautiful? Isn't her painting paper work amazing? Mine pales in comparison. You girls are way over the top. Malia, I loved your vintage style cards. Okay, it, this is just so beautiful. Her painting papers are awesome. So whoever doubts how nice painting papers can be, take a look. Okay, just because I am not a neat crafter doesn't mean other people aren't. Okay? And look, then she sent me some swatches of her painting papers. Okay? Guys, I think painting papers are like, I don't know. For me, they're like really an addiction. It's so silly. But I love it, and I was so thrilled. Thank you very much. <clears throat> and she made the envelope out of magazine pages, painty paper magazine pages. Hers are still way nicer than mine. Like, her stencils are super nice. Anyway, that was the Christmas card that I got. And... All right, here we go. I don't even know where to begin, because my secret sister, she, like... She did too much, and I feel a little, I feel a little embarrassed because I feel like it was, like, amazing, and I feel embarrassed because I'm shy, you know, like that. I don't, I don't, you know, anyway. I'm just going to take it out bits and pieces at a time because it's like she sent me the most amazing things. I have a whole box of it, okay? It's not even a little bit. It's like a lot, and my secret sister was none other than our very own Scotty. So... Susan and I did everybody random, and it was awesome. So there we go. Susan and I picked, did it together, and we, she figured out a random way to do things. So look at all these cool bits and pieces. I cannot wait. I mean, I'll try to do fast, go fast, but it's, like, amazing. It's like she sent me the most amazing stuff. I mean, a box full. I, I'm not going to keep you guys going the whole time. Maybe I'll do a little today, and maybe I'll do a little bit more on Tuesday. But she sent me so many beautiful things that I'm going to use them all. It's like, if I just used her Secret Sister box, I probably could make, I don't know, a dozen journals. Easy. Or paper clip embellishments. Some of this stuff is amazing. Like, all of it is really nice, but some of it is just like you go, oh my god, where did she get that? Look at all these cool, I won't take all of it out, but like just, do you guys get the idea? Like look at the cool bits and pieces. These are like stamps, but they're, um, they're like prints of stamps. So that when you collage with them, they are small. Look, and that like there's a Georgia O'Keeffe skull. It, it's just beautiful. And there's a picture of Christ. I love all of them. They're awesome. And a dolly clock, a Salvador dolly clock right here. I mean, just amazing. Scotty, I'm telling you guys, I was crying. My daughter's like, why are you crying? And I'm like, because. She goes, Mom, what are you crying for? She's like, what happened to you? I'm like, because. And she's like, you're ridiculous. This is my older daughter. Oh, my God, look at this. I so coveted a piece of this, and I've actually looked for them here, but you can't, I haven't found one. So, yay, I'm going to use it on my jelly plate. I think it, it's a hot pad, but I'm not 100% sure. But it's like, I'm going to use it as my on my jelly plate. 
You guys have already looked through this like dozens of times, okay? And I tried to put it back so it would be all neat and everything. Forget it. I had it spread out all on the bed last night, and I was kind of laying all in it. Is that the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard? I was like, Janine. Hi, Kathy. You cut up a hot plate. It's awesome. So I was laying in the bed with all my stuff, okay? All of it spread everywhere, and the dog kept trying to get in the bed. I was like, you can't get in the bed. You have to move. Okay. Wait till you see this. This is amazing. Okay. She sent me this little bag, and in this little bag has all these cool little tags. The little bag's really cool, too. But it has this in it. This is my favorite thing. One of my favorite things. Look at this. This is like an acrylic... Like she paint, did you paint on it or stamp on it, Scotty? And it's like a piece of acrylic. It's really, really nice. I'm gonna have projects for dates. I know, right? Hi, Brenda. So I don't know what this is, but it's gorgeous. And then she sent me all these little handmade, cool <coughs> tags, and they're like. They're really already decorated, cool, ready to go in a journal. But this is stunning, okay? There's lots of little pieces like that in there. Both stamp, stamp. This is stamped, painted, and alcohol inks. So there you go. I love it. It's awesome. That was just, this is just one of the, wait till, it's trillions of stuff. Okay, these are hand-painted, and this is textured. Oh, my God, I love it. These are all hand-painted, hand-stamped, and painted. These are gorgeous. Like, I love them. They're just amazing. Right? Don't you think so? Uh, it's like above and beyond. Oh, wait. And this is really cute, too. Isn't he cute? He's so cute. And then she sent me... This has a little, a little charm in it, like a little ATC and a little charm to hang off of it. And then this is really cool, too. This has got one of those, like a... You know, uh, oh, my gosh. A tag with a piece of uh, fern in it. It's really cool. And napkins and then bits and pieces and this is and then look this is like printed like canvas did you stamp and paint on it or is it printed on I don't know it's really cool and really cool textured wallpaper and some little postcards and envelopes there's a whole bunch of envelopes and then oh but there's one in there that's my favorite and then she sent me all these really cool cards I won't show you guys every single thing. Oh, and a stippling brush, which I needed. I don't have one. You know, sometimes when you've had lots of art supplies and you've lived in multiple places, you think that you have it at this house, but it was like many houses ago. I'm constantly finding that out. She sent me all these cool tags, and a lot of them have grommets in it, and I'd love that. So I got these. This is nothing, you guys. It's like, this is like, this is like a tip of the iceberg. She sent me so many fabulous things. Scotty, I have to tell you, I was laying in all of the paper until it was spread out all over my bed yesterday. And Hottie came home, he's like, do I need to sleep in the other room? <laughs> okay, this is cool too. She sent me, oh my gosh, these are all sorts of like, this is a repurposed calendar. So you can make it into a journal and then... And then bunches of like cool pieces of card. But let me show you the calendar. The calendar is really gorgeous. I'll just give you a sneak peek of the calendar. Isn't this beautiful? Look at this. I was thinking the calendar itself would be a good cover. Would you be laying in it too? I was so laying in it. Is that ridiculous? I didn't post it. Oh, I don't. Maybe Scotty can post the hot plates. But look at the plates on this calendar. Right? I'm thinking I'm going to make a journal. I'm going to put one on the front, and then I'll find something. I could make multiple journals. I don't know. Anyway, I love this. This is so beautiful. And it feels like it was, um, like they were, like, embossed on. You know what I mean? Like, there's some, some of the paper has texture, but isn't it cute? Look at the bear. Silicone hot plate. Pot holder. Yeah, that's what it is. Anyway, you guys, this is the tip of the iceberg. There are some things in here. Let me let me see if it's in here. I don't even know if I put it back in the right way. When she sent me these cool little books. Look at these cool little books. They gave me like this great idea of making my own. It's only stapled with one staple, but making your own like little. I think I'm gonna steal this idea and make little tiny painty paper books. 
for collage because it only has one staple and that's uh, anyway she sent me some of these wait and there's more and these are stencils can you see them i don't want to punch them out yet because i think i might cover them in plastic i don't know but she sent me some paper stencils they're all kinds of different ones wait and there's more oh my gosh so this is a bag of keys and you know have you guys seen the jewelry that she's making oh my god she's making some crazy jewelry and it's beautiful and some really neat stuff and then she sent me a bag of her look at this and some angel wings keys and angel wings i already thought about making a doll i already i already thought about taking it apart making a doll like here are the angel wings and they're made out of they're like some sort of pressed board but they have a texture and they feel i don't know are these paper or are they are they are they cloth oh no i mean it's wait till you see it's even more but look at all the cool keys and she sent me some jewelry too okay look at all the keys and jewelry like all these keys I'm, i think i was gonna i think i'm gonna make a i was thinking i'd make a key angel look and so i'm like i'm excited i'm so excited i mean i'm gonna be busy i'm gonna be busy for like months months literally months it's so silly but you know what a hot, a, a hot plate does excite me. The hot pad totally did. Are you kidding? I saw it. I was like screaming like a child, like a, like a, like a baby. And the ribbons are really cool too. One of them is like really amazing. Hopefully I put it back in the box and not smell on my bed. You guys, he worked late. He came home. I, this is not even all of it. I mean, I haven't even gotten to the good stuff yet. But this is the hot pad. Okay, the hot pad. The silicone hot pad. Okay. And look, and she made me a th made me a tag, which is beautiful. Oh, here's the piece of ribbon that was tied on one of them. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at that. So pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, this I'll save till the very end. That's amazing. But there's a bunch of amazing things in here. She sent me. She sent me. Oh, I love these. All these like soda things and junk mail, which you guys know I love. Wait, and then I'm just going to flip through them. Look, she sent me like these kick-ass magazine pages. They're so great for collage. It's amazing. I'm like, look at the backgrounds of them. I'm excited to use them. Maybe I'll do a stream and I'll just call it like what I created with Scotty's stash. <laughs> and then she sent me some painty papers, some cool painty papers, which I love 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 you know you can never have too many painting papers in my world and this is one of those reverse collages you know like where you keep a pop portion of it and then you paint it out hi lizzie how are you <laughs> i did say kick ass is that terrible hi tiff hi janine oh anyway so that wait and it get and there's more and some cool wallpaper you guys as if it wasn't enough that i got like i was like now you do you see why like i was a little crying yesterday these are beautiful i don't even know what they're from oh these where are these from scotty they're beautiful i love them anyway she sent me some cool stuff but i was going to show you and look is this not amazing look at these look at these images these are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Vintage bird book and bingo cards and more painty papers, which in my world, you can never have enough. She painted on the back of wallpaper, which I love. Some sheet music, some printed tags, more wallpaper. And this is not all. You wait. The tag is beautiful that you made, Scotty, though. That's gorgeous. I love it, love it, love it. Guess I'm trying to charm without killing my arm because my arm is like not I don't know if I'm ever going to be healed from it okay another package of papers and now can you see why I cried it was ridiculous but I cried okay more papers more cool bits and pieces more cool bits and pieces all kinds of cool bits and pieces which I love 
This is really cool. This botanical paper bag. I loved it. So gorgeous. And then she sent me some little bits and pieces from Flo, which is awesome. There's some scrapbook paper. I'm trying to go fast. And some, some ribbons. These are beautiful. Like, I, I'm going to be busy for like a month. I'm going to just be calling it like, and just say, working from Scotty Stash. And this is really cool. I love the print and the type. She sent me some coloring cards. And, oh, I love these. Like, subway bags. All kinds of paper bags. All kinds of cool. This one's really cool. Sonic. And this is from a trip her sister went on. It's like a magazine, a winery. Isn't it beautiful? In la... And La Escada. La Escada. Isn't it cool? Then she sent me some envelopes. And then a whole pack. And then I have more paper. I won't go through all of it. Let me see if I pick out my bits. And, let me pick out some of my favorites. I mean, she just went overboard. And it was amazing. And maybe I'll show you guys this pack another day but I want to get to like a couple of other things that I want to show you okay are you ready ready to be full on jealous okay here we go hi Pat everybody loves you Pat okay are you ready hi Linda I have my very own stash I was so, I cried it's so ridiculous security envelopes one of my most favorite things on the planet It's ridiculous, I know, but it is. It is some of, one of my favorites. I have my own whole stash of security envelopes. Okay, look. Look at all of them. I mean, look at all of them. They're all super cool. I was like, oh my God. Isn't it cool? And then she put a cool band around them. This came from Flo, and it's a chalkboard magazine, and I think I might, she asked, she said, why didn't I make a journal out of it? I might, no, wait till you see this. Looking for my, there's a bunch, there's so much more stuff, I can't even show you guys all, everything, but I wanted to find the one thing, where is it? Guys, if I left it on my bed, then I can't show it to you. There's more bits and pieces, but wait, there's a whole box full. She sent me napkins galore. Like, look at all these napkins. Like, it's going to be paper napkin decoupaging um, for the next three months, six months, depending upon how many paper napkin decoupage books I make. So I'm looking for my, one of my, there's like a bunch of favorite things I have, but there's one, where is it? The whole box is full. Where is it? Maybe it's in here. Yeah, must be in here. Okay. She sent me some upholstery samples and some wallpaper samples. She sent me some cool, cool ass tags made out of, but you guys know me and my tag obsession. Why it is, I don't know. But look at this box out of vanilla wafers. Okay. Out of vanilla wafer box. Love it. And then she sent me more stickers and cards. You guys, I still have half a box full. I'm not going to show you everything. Okay. This is amazing. Okay. I cried. She sent me her paper. Like, she made me a journal cover. She made me a journal cover. Hi, Care. Hi, Laura. You guys, look at this. Now I have to make a journal. Isn't this gorgeous? Isn't this gorgeous? I was like, oh, my God. Anyway, I loved it. I cried. Okay. Then she made me, like that wasn't be enough, she made me some postcards. Look at these. Mixed media postcards. Love them. Gorgeous. 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 I love this. I love it. Look, we can't package faith. Love it. Like, look at these. Beautiful. And some marbling paper. Some cool green envelopes. She sent me a whole bunch of envelopes. And look. 
Isn't that beautiful? I cried. I cried. Hi, Mary Kay. Oh my God, I, I, Scotty! I cried. Are you kidding? It was ridiculous. I was like a, I was like a, no, no. Anyway, these are beautiful little envelopes that she made me that I could also make journal covers out of. And I love them. This one says, "Believe, I love it. Believe, live, laugh, love, dream." There's more. I'm not going to show you guys any more of it, but I will show you two more of my favorite things, and then I'm going to call it done. And and as I use some of it, I will bring it out and show you more. Okay, I think this is it. So she sent me some cool coasters, which I love these. Have you guys ever made a journal out of these? They're so fun. Hers are really nice. Usually I get the really crappy ones at the bar. But we should do that sometime when we can make a journal out of these coasters. Okay, and there was this, this thing, right? I was like, what is it? Ready? Look at this. Oh my gosh, I cried. Hi, Fee! Hi, Fee! You want to see everything, Lizzie? If I showed you, she sent me so much more. I can't even tell you. There's like, there's like, I probably have like, this is just gorgeous. This is a, a watch face. I cannot, I don't know what if I, I don't know if I'm going to make a piece of jewelry out of it. I'm thinking I might, because anyway, I don't know. Or if I'm put it on a trolling cover, but I love it. Look, it even still has the little screws on the back of the watch face, the clock face. Anyway, I love it. It's just, I cried. Okay, now wait till you see this. This, this, all of it goes above and beyond. It's above and beyond and amazing. And, okay, so I get to the, after I've laid in the paper for hours, and believe me, I took all of it out. I had it all spread across my bed. I guess I should have taken a picture. I probably look like the most ridiculous person ever laying in magazine pages and junk mail and, okay. She sends me this. You ready? She made these. And these are made out of an amylite fossil. And I cried. Okay. Okay, look. Aren't they gorgeous? Can you see them? Hey, Mary Lou. I'm sorry you're in pain, Fee. Can you guys see them? Yeah, I don't even know if I can if I can zoom it in more, but they're like little fossils and they're beautiful earrings, and I love them. Scotty, thank you so much. I have to tell you, I get so much from you guys. I get so much love. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Ann. I get so much love from you guys on a daily basis. Just being in a group with you, getting to know you, sharing your journey. That this was like above and beyond. I felt like, I don't know, I can't even tell you. <clears throat> I just, it was overwhelming. It was like, um, it was like feeling so special and feeling so... I don't know. You know how, didn't you guys ever get like the most amazing present from your mother? Like always, like your mom would never forget you on Christmas. And if you've ever had kids, you want to go through this period of time where like actually no one really remembers you. I mean, your spouse tries to, but, or maybe they don't, but you, you just feel like you're the one that buys for everyone else and that you're sort of like the one that's sort of left out. My mom used to, when she was alive, she used to always make sure that she would always it didn't have to be expensive, but it was just really well thought out. Like something small, something handmade, or just something super special. And all of you guys have shown me so much love. I feel like... I feel like if I never got another gift, I've gotten enough. And I felt so special. It made me feel like... It, it brought back that feeling of... <clears throat> when my mom was around and she's she's been gone for like almost 11 years but when she was around it made me feel like it made me feel like that you guys make me feel like that like you make me feel seen and and I and I appreciate it I can't sorry I'm crying my eyes are leaking just a little 
anyway, and I know it seems so silly because it's it's a silicone placemat and it's some coasters and it's some painted magazine pages, but it's me and it, it made me feel, I can't tell you, all of you, your Christmas cards, your just your notes to me, all of it, it, it made me feel like like I really am met my tribe, you know, that you get me, you see me, and and I appreciate it. So, Scotty, thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I love you guys so much. And I'm, I'm just, I'm grateful for you in my life, and having you in my life is the biggest blessing, all of you. Hey, Cheryl. Hi, Kate. Hi, Lynn. So I just want you to know that how much I appreciate you. Very, I want you to know how much I appreciate you. Yes, Kate, I did. I showed what you gave me last week. I have it right here, I think. And I cried then, too. Like, and it made me cry. I loved it. I loved every single bit of it. I loved all of it. I loved all of it. I know it seems so silly, but I'm really grateful that you're in my life. I'm really grateful, all of you. You have no idea. It's I know that <coughs> I know that it seems like ridiculous, but I am grateful. And I'm appreciative. I'm appreciative. It's magic. It isn't stuff. It is magic. It's magic. You're absolutely right. It's like magic. I'm so grateful for you guys in my life. You have no idea. And, and, you know, but nobody else would understand it. Can you imagine getting, have Hottie coming home and I'm laying in bed with all of, I have all the cards and I have all of the stuff from Scotty's box and all the paper everywhere. Cause I've looked at each piece like five, 10, 15 times, imagining what I'm going to make with it. I love you guys. You have no idea. I really do. Well, so today, speaking of painting papers, and I promise I won't cry anymore. At least I hope I won't. Scotty, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And thank you, Kate. Thank you for my beautiful package. I loved it. I cried last week. Are you kidding? I think you came in after I had already opened it. It was like... You know, I used to really be... Um, I've always created and I've always been an artist, but it's always been really private, you know, like in my own world. In my own world. And so I feel like with you guys, it's like, I'm in my own world and the safety of my own world, but I can share my weirdness with you. Oh no, your sister passed away, Shelly. Oh no. Oh, what was her name? What was her name? Scotty, I love you. Yes, Kate, I probably was crying last week. Hi, Wendy. Oh, no. Shelly, tell us her name. Her name was Marjorie. Marjorie, we send you so much love, and we know you're here with us, watching us cry over painting papers, and we invite you to be here with us every week and make some painting papers with us. We would love it. And know you're loved, Marjorie. Know you're loved. You know, you can inv you can invite anyone. Yes, we, we do lift Marjorie up. We'll put Marjorie in the woo woo. She was fifty five. Oh, Shelly, we love you. We're happy you're here with us. We're happy that you want to be with us. What is the woo-woo? Does anybody want to explain what the woo-woo is? The woo-woo is just energy work.
It is a hard time of the year, Diana. It's a hard time for everybody. We send you so much love, Shelly. Uh, I'm so sorry. You've been crying. I would be crying too. Loss is a really hard thing, you guys. It's so hard. It's so hard. We're here for you. We really are. The woo woo is like a guided meditation. Malia, you're absolutely right. Marjorie is in our hearts. Marjorie would want us to be celebrating her. And so we're going to celebrate Marjorie. I'm going to make some Marjorie earrings. Tell us about Marjorie, Shelly. Tell us, was she fun? Which tell us all about her. We want to know about her. So if you guys want to make painty paper earrings, what you need is you need some painty papers, first of all. And I already cut these out. I'm going to make some out of this. I may not use all of them. But we'll make some Marjorie. We'll make some Marjorie-inspired earrings. Susan says, Woo Woo is a ride on a big sticky marshmallow. So let's make some Marjorie inspired art, shall we? Let's hold Marjorie in our hearts and make some Marjorie inspired art. Tell us about her, Shelly. We'd like to know about her. Tell us all about Marjorie. She loved to draw. Awesome. So she'd be right here with us. Marjorie, we invite you to be right here with us and make some make some painting paper earrings. So you do need some sort of thicker. Um, I'm using a pop tart box today because that's how we roll here. Well, I hope you guys are coming over and and doing the woo-woo with me every day for the next 30 days. And the replays are up, so you should be able to access them. And if you can't, email me, and I will send you the, the, the links to the replays. Um, I know for me, it's helped me a lot. And Shelly, I don't know if you've done any of the woo-woo with us, any of the guided meditation. But it would be a good place for you to come and... I mean, I always try to do a little bit at the end of every live stream. Sometimes I do it in the middle of a live stream. Sometimes I don't. You guys know me. I kind of fly by the seat of my pants. <laughs> is, the, is that marshmallow toasted? You're so funny. Yeah, definitely stay for the woo-woo. It'll help you... Um, It'll help you release. So what I'm going to do is, what's cool about it if you have a punch, okay, is that you need to, chicken skin, yeah, it is like chicken skin. You guys, I'm going to have to stand up and punch this one. This is ridiculous. I use every kind of box possible, everything that I possibly have, but this one seems a little thicker. I have found that the thicker they are, I think they work a little better, and I don't mean like like that they have to be super, super thick, but um, I made one with a, like a thin granola box, and the thin granola box, when I glued the papers on, I'll show it to you. I mean, it's not bad. It's just not... It's not as good as it could be. Okay, so that's enough for two pair at the moment. What's kind of cool if you have a punch is... So say you wanted to make these into your earrings. If you have a punch, you can kind of take it to the area that you want in the paper, you know, because you can see it. Um, the same way if you fussy cut it, but if you have a die cutting machine, it's not as easy. At least that's what I found, but maybe you guys have a better, maybe you guys have better, um, 
Let's see. That's one. And this is a great way to use up all your paper scraps. Now you can make journal embellishments like this too. You don't have to make earrings. It's just that when my daughter came home and told me how many, anyway, you know kids, they tell you they wait till the last minute to tell you. Anyway. Yeah, woo-woo is a spiritual state of mind. It's not religious. Yeah, but a vibrational pure energy. That's exactly right, APG. You've got that. Not religion. <laughs> you were comatose after today's woo-woo? You know what I've noticed is it's been stronger. It's been stronger for me, at least. And I experienced what you guys experienced. Okay, so I'll give you my real 411 on the um on the painting. Okay, so this was the one that I did that was the um these are magazine pages that I jelly printed on. And this was I put it on the back of I need still need to glue it down totally. I put it on the back of like a um, a different kind of box. It was thinner. So I had to lay it under something flat because when I painted the backs, it kind of went weird. So what I would suggest is that you paint yours before you, before you glue on the other side. And I'm liking this metallic paint, but you don't have to have metallic paint. You can paint it any color you want. I just think that it makes it look, you fussy cut all those images. You're cray. You're awesome. You fussy cut all the images at treatment. Ooh, you rock out. APG, you've got it down right. You said exactly it's perfect. I love being in nature too. Malia, I live in nature. If you guys saw where I live, I live completely in nature. Being in nature definitely puts you in your highest, um, can really put you in a really high vibration. Kate saying hi, Pat. Hey, Lisa. So if you guys are going to paint the, if you guys are going to do these, I'm, I'm going to glue mine onto the other side and I am going to paint the brown side of my box. And I'm using that really inexpensive folk art brand from a big box store metallic paint because that's just what I have. You guys use what you want. And, you know, because I'm giving these away to teachers and every, to my daughter's teachers, you know, I don't know if they'll, I don't know how crafty many of them are and I don't know if they'll really appreciate knowing that it's the back of a Pop-Tart box. So that's the other reason why. If I knew somebody was an avid recycler, I wouldn't care whether it was a Pop-Tart box. You know what I mean? Whether they knew it was a Pop-Tart box. I think if you're a real recycler, you might now. Lynn, how is your hand? How is your hand? You guys, it's easy to be there for somebody when things are easy. It's so much more difficult, as you all know, to be there when somebody is having a hard time. And I just want to say I am so grateful that you guys are so there for each other all the time. You know, we've had a lot of loss lately. Jamie lost her sister, like, what was it, two weeks ago? And Carrie lost her son last week. Or was it only on Tuesday? Now Shelly lost her sister. You know? A lot, a lot of loss. And I'm so sorry. You fussy cut two weeks straight at the beach, Care? Oh, that's awesome. Guys, I stuck, I take some, I try, I used to travel, I haven't traveled, well, I went to Boston, whatever, that a few weeks ago, but other than that, I haven't really been traveling much. I used to travel all the time, and I used to take a pair of children's scissors with me, you know, like they look like 
like little like children, five-year-old children scissors, right? And they took them from me. They didn't take them from me in the U.S. They took them from me when I was in South America getting on the plane to come back. So I got into South America with them, <laughs> but I didn't get out of South America with them. I thought that was very funny because they're like those, you know, like the kindergarten scissors, blunt scissors, but they usually let you take those on the plane. And I was using them. I used to cut up things out of the airplane magazines from them when I was sitting there. Isn't that ridiculous? Probably need to make a couple more. I cut out all those things earlier, all the... Um, but a Pop-Tart box is actually pretty hefty. Try to cut out all those things. Cassandra says, Shelly, students bring a gift and we teachers love it. Well, I usually always give like something like I spend a long time to make stuff. But can I tell you, this year I didn't. Because my daughter's teacher, she's had a ton of substitute teachers. Her teacher was out, had a baby. Which I'm happy for her teacher, but... It was like one of those things where like every day it was like a new teacher, you know? Now you want a Pop-Tarts box? Well, all you need is an 11-year-old and then, then they come. <laughs> Pop-Tarts and 11-year-olds, I think, are, are synonymous with each other. What kind of gifts did you do today, Kate? You made, Kate, you made gifts today too? We are your family, Shelly, and we are here for you, and you can say anything. There is nothing to anything, and we can hear it, and we will be here for you. You didn't send me Pop-Tarts? <laughs> no. She is obsessed with Pop-Tarts, okay? She doesn't have a lot of vices, but she loves Pop-Tarts, and we've been out of them. So, like, the other day, she and Hottie were going to the store, and, um, he, he asked me, do you want anything? And I said, no, I don't, you know, whatever you guys get is good with me. And she's like, yes, I want Pop-Tarts. And we were laughing because it wasn't that he didn't get them for, but they were out of them. You know, you guys have to realize, depending upon the ebb and flow of traffic here, of how many people come and go, when you go to the store, sometimes they're out of things. Like, it's so weird, I can't tell you. You guys have experienced storms and stuff, you know, like when people come and buy all the water from where you are. You guys, people come here and they buy, like, like sometimes you go to the store and there's no bread. It's just, like, weird stuff like that. So you just kind of, I don't know. You just go with it. You don't think about it. You just go with it. So they were out of Pop-Tarts. And um, at least at the, at the, the ones that she likes. And he'd been a couple times. And sometimes what happens is they just don't get the shipments in. You know, the shipments of stuff, they just don't come in. So. So they were out of it. I nicked this box. Because I guess I could give a perfect box piece, right? You don't have to give a messed up one. I love you girls so much. You have no idea. I'm so grateful. And I'm loving seeing what everyone has created for each other. It's been amazing. It's just been so heartfelt and so loved. And everyone's just been so wonderful about it. Okay, so the ones that are dry, let's see, this one must be dry. Not quite. Almost. They don't have to be perfect, you guys. They're going to be on the back of the earrings. You got a few gifts. You're a teacher, Kate? What, kind of, what did you get? What did they give you? Usually, I like to give gift certificates, honestly. You know, you know they frown upon... We've had big changes in our education here. You can't give teachers... Like, you have to be very aware of what you give teachers. Like, you can't give any sort of cash gift. You can't... They, they have all these do's and don'ts. Um, you can give a gift card, but it has to be, like, a certain denomination. 
and I don't know why that is, but you, anyway, I guess it, it, my kid goes to public school here, but I could understand if it was like some sort of private school where she was going to get some sort of special treatment, but she isn't, you know? Anyway, I usually like to give some sort of gift card, but she hasn't, her teacher's been out, so she's had all these substitutes, and then they have extra subjects, you know, they have, um, you know, all the extra things that they have, PE and drama, they have art once a, I don't know, they don't have it a lot. She has choir and you know they have all kinds of cool stuff. Not like a real I mean I think she has art like once a month. It's not art twice a month. It's not like it's that often, but at least they have it. And she participates in choir, but in order to do that it's considered an extracurricular activity. She has to be at school at seven AM. Can you imagine? <laughs> and she does. She wants to. So she gets up. We've been doing it a couple of years. She gets up and we have to leave our house at like 6.20 to get her to school by 7 so she can do choir before school starts. So. Well, that's what we get. I mean, I am going to get gift cards. I'm going to get her main teacher a gift card that She's had so many substitute teachers, but they all are there in the school that honestly, 11 gift cards in my world is a little bit too much. No, I'm not gluing several punches. I'm gluing, this is just a Pop-Tart box that I painted on the other side. And then this is one painty paper, which is a book page that I painted on. And I'm just gluing them one to the other. That's it. And the thing is, is that you could do it any shape you want. I've done one square. I thought I had done some sink, some circles, but. So what I was going to show you is you want to make sure that it's glued down firmly. So here's two, but see how you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but you can time it. You can see kind of a little bit of the box. So. It doesn't bother me so much, but if it bothers you, you want to use a dry brush. You want to use like not your totally wet brush from your paint and then just paint it. You know, just a little paint in between. Now I've made these before where I've made them with uh, where you put an acrylic sealer on it, or you can put a nail polish on it, or you don't have to put anything on it. So you, you can, it's up to you. Acrylic sealer, nail polish, um, you could put stickles, you could put diamond glaze, you could put a polyurethane, you know, like a poly, a water soluble polyurethane that you get at the hardware store. They have tiny jars of it. You can use that. The only thing is if you're going to use it, you want to make sure that you've used acrylic paint. I guess you could do it with watercolor too, but you could only, but you usually only get one pass with watercolor because you don't want it to reactivate. So if you're going to stamp on these, I would stamp on them with a permanent ink pad if you're going to use some sort of like polyurethane. No, Cassandra, I mean, they have my kids all day long. I mean, of course. No, we bake cookies. Like, we're going to bake some sort of, I don't know, brownies or cookies, whatever she wants to bake, because it'll be her, I mean, I'll help her, but it'll be her baking. We're going to bake. And then I just thought, you know, everybody likes something cool. And even if they don't even wear them, they, even if they give them away, you know, they're like just little handmade painting paper earrings, right? They don't know that it's a Pop-Tart box in the back. 
and I don't think you can tell because I think after you finish them and if you had some bling you could add some bling to it I just don't have any bling I do have bling but just not over here and I didn't you know I figured I was gonna make some square ones too like these are magazine pages which I love I'm gonna get my gold paint on it anyway Good night, Linda. Are you leaving us? Big hugs. Big hugs, Linda. But don't you, didn't you guys give gifts to your teachers? I mean, I can't be the only one. Oh my God, when I had, when all of them were in school at once, it was the worst. I mean, it would be like, I can't even tell you. It'd be like, especially if they're in classes where they were like, I mean, in age groups where there's, like, so many teachers, right? I don't know. Then you're really, like, how many gifts do you give? You give a lot, so. These were magazine pages, and I didn't glue them down well. Oh, Linda, you're moving to the big screen so you can't chant, chat? Okay, Linda. Well, we love you, Linda. Linda's not going anywhere. She's just going to the big screen. It is the thought. I agree with you, Cassandra, but you know. No, I mean, we'll bake them something and, you know. There's also the ladies in the office and the people that do lots of stuff and they never get anything. So we always try to make everybody something little or make cookies or something, you know? So this has gunmetal gray on the back and that's the same inexpensive folk art paint, gunmetal gray. And then I'm just going to decide which direction I want them. I think I'm on them on the diagonal. And I just have to decide which one's up because I want to poke my hole. And... And I have a push pin. Use whatever you have. That's that's my tool of choice right now is my push pin. I have a tiny hole punch somewhere. But you guys, you guys know me moving my crap around so many times. I, I don't know what I did with it. Now this is how I get them in the same place. I put the one that I did the hole on on top of the one that doesn't have a hole. And I poke it through. You guys can buy earring components for really inexpensive. I think you can buy like, they didn't have them when I went, but if I'm right, if I'm, you can buy some like surgical stainless steel earring wires for 50 pair for $2, $3, not a lot. Now the cool thing is, is if you know, if you take those surgical stainless steel earrings and you paint on them with finger, clear fingernail polish, Anyone can wear them, even people with hypoallergenic issues. If you paint on the ear wires with nail polish. Okay, so that those have holes in them. And then I have to decide which direction I want these. Maybe I need them like that. And I bought jump rings because it just makes them dangle better. <laughs> Liz says her teacher friends get baked goods and restaurant gift cards. Her best friend is on Weight Watchers and brings you all the baked goods. Ha <laughs> that's good. Wait, did I miss? Hang on, I gotta go back up and look. Okay, let me see. Bye, Trace. Your journal is only, it has a two inch spine. Ooh, awesome. I can't wait to see that journal. That journal is gonna be so good. That journal is gonna be amazing. That's how you started making jewelry because you had hypoallergenic issues. Well, that's awesome. That's awesome. We'll try the clear fingernail polish on a pair of store-bought crappy cheap earrings and see 
if that works for you. I know it works for me, and I'm allergic to everything. I am allergic. Colleen, you know, I had the same issue, but I'm telling you, at least fingernail polish worked for me. Try it for yourself. But see, if you have that kind of allergy, then you usually have an extra pair of ear wires, right? Because you definitely, everybody likes some costume jewelry, but then you put your ear wires on some, on some other earrings. Okay, so now I've got my holes in my things. Now I'm just going to put my jump rings on. And I bought these. I thought I saved the top. Yeah, I did. Okay, so this is the jump rings that I bought. These are 11 gauge metal, 6 millimeter. Oh, no. Yeah, 20 gauge, 6 millimeter earrings. I mean, jump rings. And then these are eye pens, and they were, it doesn't say the gauge. I bought eye pens because they didn't have any ear wires, and maybe sometime I'll show you guys how to make them from scratch. It's not that hard. Okay, I have some. What did I do with my pliers? Okay, here they are. It's better if you have two pair of pliers when you do this, but it's okay. And it's also better if you have good eyesight when you do this. And you just want to put your jump ring through your... I'm opening it with my fingers, you guys. Your fingers are your best tool as a jeweler because you can't mark them up. Can't mark up your metal and you won't work hard on it with your hands as fast as you will with a pair of pliers. You know, they just think about it, work hardening it. It's like, you know, it's like a tin can. Remember, like if you would take a if you would, you know, rock a piece of metal back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, it will um break, right? With your fingers, it's it doesn't give it as much tension as it does with with metal. You spent fifty dollars on what? What am I what did I miss? You have a big well sterling silver doesn't have nickel in it. Sterling silver won't have nickel. It has it has uh, copper in it. Fine metals won't have nickel in it, like gold or silver, sterling silver or bronze or, well, copper won't because copper is 100% of an alloy. I can't be 100% sure about bronze. I mean, bronze is a, I think bronze is a nickel copper alloy. Anyway, it also depends upon like what and where. No, clear nail polish does have to be applied after a few times, and I would definitely get a nicer brand of clear nail polish. The eyesight's gone and it's not come back. You spent on a shower wrap? Oh, cool. I'm sorry, Cheryl, you're having a hard time. Well, we love you. We're sending you we're sending you love. We are sending you love, Cheryl. You guys make sure you all join our Facebook group. We've got a lot a lot of really lovely people there. And also, many of them don't ever come over to the live streams. Um, I just don't can't who knows why. It doesn't even matter why, but it's a really fun place to show the artwork you've made. I'm sorry, Cheryl. You know what? The internet has been so, so ridiculous lately, I can't even tell you. You guys, it has been blowing and raining here all day. Not that I'm complaining because I know you guys have snow, but sometimes when that happens for us, it's, it's like such a detriment for, um,
Well, if you buy ear wires and they're 18 karat gold, they're not going to have any, any nickel in them. Hi, Vicki. Thank you for the Christmas card. I love it. I'm going to make my, I'm going to make a Christmas card. Definitely going to make a Christmas card. make a Christmas. You guys, I went to look for my jewelry tools. I should have brought them over here so you could see. You have no idea. The sea, the ocean air, it, everything I have rusts. So I just don't even like try anymore. Like I have a rolling mill. I mean, I used to make my own metal alloys. So I have a rolling mill where I used to roll out all the metal and stuff like that. You guys, it's rusted. And it's a huge piece of equipment. It was a beautiful card, Vic. With all the cool earrings you wore, one you wear the same pair of twenty nine days out of thirty. Well, I understand that. I have some ones that I've made. You guys, I don't really wear jewelry anymore. I isn't that terrible? I was a jeweler all those years. Even when I was a jeweler, I didn't really wear jewelry unless I was going somewhere and I would always wear it. Because the thing is, if you work with your hands and you're working with metal, you really don't, and equipment, you don't want to wear anything. Because if it, if the spark of something catches on you, it can burn you and, you know, it's just not a good idea to wear jewelry when you're working. And so, I didn't. And... I've made some amazing jewelry. I'll show it to you guys sometime. Okay, so there is... Now let me just show you. If you can't find ear wires, I would suggest you... Don't don't buy anything that says it's dead hard. Dead hard's the worst. Yeah, I need something to um, heat it up with. Okay, what did I use before? I thought I had a pen, but I don't. Um, I guess I'll just use a pencil. All right, so what you want to do is you want to take your ear wire and your head pin where, where the eye is, and you want to bend it. This is a two-inch head pin. And the problem with this one is it is, it is hard. It's not, it's not a soft one. It's not a, it's not a, um, it is already work hardened. And. Okay, you want to bend it until it looks like that. And I know it's like you're like, oh, you bent it too much. But you wait. You just wait. When they're hard like this, you definitely need to bend them because they, um, anyway, I'll show you. If you have a Sharpie marker, that, that gives you a perfect size of a, of a, um, I don't know what you want to call it of a bend, of a rounding. Okay, and let me just put my, open my, open the loop on the end of the eye pen, and put my little thing back in it, my little I have round nose pliers somewhere here. Okay, see, look. This is a pair of German pliers, and they're expensive. And look at them, they're rusted. And these are just in my work box. They're not, like, anywhere else. It's not like... I mean, I ha I've had to oil them or whatever, but... And I can sand all the rust off, but it's just, it's sort of annoying, you know what I mean? When you like, and voila, there is one. And we'll do the other one. Then I'll make the tag for it. Now, I don't know how well they'll be greeted with the fact that the tags that I've made or I'm going to make are made out of book pages. But I figure if I tell them, if I have to tell them that I'm a recycled book artist, then they won't think I've taken anything apart. You know, the last thing a teacher wants to see at school, right, is a book that's been taken apart. Let me just 
doing that. Uh, anyway, girly world. Do you guys have any big special Christmas Christmas party plans? Does anybody do? Keep them in a box of sand. Pat is a very famous Minnesota sister. We love her. Yeah, Sharpie marker is the best, but I don't know where my Sharpie... You guys, my little table is not off limits to everyone. Other people use it too. So my little table... I could leave something here and come back an hour from now and it'd be gone. Okay. Does anybody else have that problem in their house? The same with scissors. Does anybody have that problem with scissors? Scissors in their house? Hi, Lurker. Say hey. We're making earrings from painty papers, Lisa. That's what we're making. We're making earrings from painty papers. Or you can make wine charms. You don't have to make earrings. I mean, I just have all these teachers up here. My daughter came home, and I asked her like two weeks ago. I said, what is, I said, how many teacher gifts do we have to give? And she said, oh, I don't know. And so I got a couple of gift certificates. And then... She came home yesterday and she said, there's 11. I said, 11? I'm not buying 11 $25 gift certificates. I'm sorry. So I figure, and all of them are ladies except one guy that one is a man. And hi, Clara. One's a man and... <laughs> and he'll just get cookies. Your big plan is to lay around and get fat, Malia. That's what you said. Did I did I hit see that? What lay around for the holidays or you mean for the weekend? Have you guys done all your Christmas shopping? I still you guys aside from doing a little bit of it online, I've done basically zero. Okay, I have done basically zero. The only thing is, is that the only good thing about it is my daughter's actually going to her dad's, so. It's not that big of a deal if we don't have any. She'll, she won't be back until the 5th, so I have until then. My other daughter. My other, my one of them's in China, and I'm just sending her money because let's forget it. There's no point in me trying to send her anything. And then my middle daughter. Um, she, she told me she didn't want anything, She's and she's heading to Portland to go to school. So she's decided she's going to go to Portland State. And she's excited about it. And she either starts January 8th or April something. She just, she hasn't been able to get in contact because all of it was dependent upon um, my court thing with her dad. Now that all that's taken care of. So she could go in January, but she doesn't know. We don't even know if she could get housing then, you know, because generally people start in the fall. So I'm just going to make some tags. I'm going to make two tags, and then I've got, and then that means I've gotten three pair done. And then I'll just move on to the next one. I did some shopping today. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I did some shopping in my stash. Is your mom moving in with you, Scotty? Is she moving in with you, or is she gonna live nearby you? Live near close to you? Oh, I lose my scissors all the time. Yes, Carolyn, I love my card. It's gorgeous. I love the card you made me. You're an hour and a half from Roanoke, Malia. It did, well, where are you going for New Year's? Morrisville? Where is Morrisville, CJ? Where is that? Where is Morrisville? Oh, 
tells her that it's North Carolina. Morrisville or Mooresville? It, it, Morris or Moors? Moore, like, like, like near Charlotte? Like near Charlotte? Sorry, I have I brought my die cutting machine over here. If you guys get a die cutting machine and you get a Sizzix, get this tag die. I love it. It's called Tag and Tie, and it makes a really big tag. And I use it all the time, even though I could cut my own, but it cuts like everything fabric and everything. What is it near? I, I, I did call the registrar's office, Scotty. I did. I, we, we haven't heard anything back. It's near Raleigh. Okay. Raleigh, Durham. Awesome. That's where you're going? I guess I should read these to see if they're racy, but it doesn't matter because I'll paint, I could paint over them if they're really racy. I could paint over them if they're racy. She's moving next to your brother. How far is that from you, Scotty? Hi, Misty Dawn. Welcome, welcome. Everybody say hi to Misty Dawn. She's new. No, I, I did call the registrar's office. So this is the thing, Scotty. I called the registrar's office at school. And their financial aid office is closed until January 15th. And school starts January 8th. And I called and I, and I even, and I emailed them and I said, you know, uh, ask about student housing. I haven't heard anything back. It's been so stressful. It doesn't matter what, I had a conversation with her today. She's like good whether she goes now or whether she goes in um, April. So here's pair number two. I'm actually liking those. Those, those are magazine pages. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh, Ann, that's hilarious. Who's very obedient? obedient. Good night, APG. Big hugs. Love you, love you, love you. When I come down and see Susan and Bet, we'll have to we'll have to swing and see you too, APG, because you don't live that far. You don't live that far. So we have two, we have two now, I just need to put the, make the third one, and then I'll have 11 pair made in no time of painting paper earrings. Right? For magazine pages, I think they're cute. I think they're cute. For painting, for painting magazine pages, I think they're cute. I don't know where my Sharpie, I had a black Sharpie over here and I was using it for something. And then I think one of the kids took it to, I don't know, maybe I'll use this paintbrush. Maybe that's almost the same size as a Sharpie. See, we've missed you yet. Lurkers say, hey, all lurkers, all lurky lurkers say, Hey, you guys are so funny. Good night, Miss APG Jamie. We love you. You guys go over and check out her channel. She's a hoot, a 
a hoot and a half. Hoot, hoot, hoot. You guys will love her. Okay, so I have my other two ear wires going on here. Oh, Scotty, that's awesome. You know, it's awesome that your mom, it's awesome that, that that's an option for her. You know, it's really, well, that one wasn't good. That one broke. I should, I should make my own. I can show you guys how to make your own ear wires. It's not a big deal. Lisa, I am sure you will be getting more than one Christmas card. They will come. I haven't even mailed out mine, you guys. I have had, if I told you, you guys, it's, you know, I'm, I've been doing my ridiculousness, but I'm good now. I'm getting it down. Thanks, Misty Dawn. We're glad you're there. Guys, share all your artwork. You know, it doesn't even have to be paper crafting related. It can be anything you make. When I finally get myself together, I'll share, I'll show you guys all my jewelry, my crazy, ridiculous handbags. You guys. Cheryl, we couldn't figure out what it was. You were like, do I have enough? So did you guys see, Cheryl, it was a big thing of paper. <laughs> I couldn't tell what it was. When you were asking if we had enough, it could have been a box full of anything, you know? Because most of the time, the box that you see, it's not what's on in the box, right? You do have a lot of paper. You lost your wire cutters? Oh my god, my wire cutters. You guys, I have the... Anyway. Carolyn, you know it? It has been ridiculous. The, um, the internet has been crazy. Jillian, you did... Jillian, nobody's timing you out. Susan dropped her phone. Sorry. Did you guys know I timed myself out the other day? Have you ever, have you guys ever done that? Jillian, retype what you typed. <laughs> oh my God, Susan, you're as bad as me. You guys, the other day I timed myself out. I timed myself out of, it doesn't matter. Jillian, write back what you were writing. It was the newspaper print. Oh, I'm so dumb. Jillian, come back. Even though it says you're timed out, come back when you when it says you're not. Susan, Susan didn't mean to do that. You guys, I timed myself out the other day. I was like, um, I don't even remember whose chat I was in, but it, I timed myself out. It was ridiculous. You gotta go find some good wire cutters. Yeah, you definitely need good wire cutters. I have some not good ones, you guys. I would suggest, you know what, you can even buy a decent set of jewelry tools. They, they won't even be expensive. Beadsmith. Beadsmith makes jewelry tools. Hi, Beth. No, you guys, the thing is, is that it, it, it's not that sometimes, especially if you're working on a mobile device and your fingers are fat and mine are, I've timed myself out. I've also knocked people off the chat. So, you know, it's like, it's ridiculous. I can't wait to see. Now, you guys, those of you that were making serendipity paper, these earrings would be great serendipity paper earrings. Okay, so if you, if you wanted to, 
Susan, are you in the bad corner? Did Malia put you in a timeout now? I have crappy cutters too, Malia. Join the club. Join the club. Okay, so now I have now I have three pair of earrings. I like these actually. Look, these are kind of cool. Look at these. I think they came out good. Hi, Lurky Lurker. Say hi. And Julian, come back. Nobody, nobody booted you out. I don't, Susan didn't mean to. It happened. Sorry. So I'm liking those, but those are kind of bright. I guess. We're, oh, and the other thing I bought you guys is get these, these plastic stoppers. If you're going to use, if you're going to make paper earrings, because they will fly off your ear. You won't even know you have them on. And these are, I want to say these were $2. Serendipity paper is, <laughs> Kathy, you're hilarious. Um, serendipity paper is like, I don't know if I have any close by. No, it's like scrap paper. That, it's paper that you make out of all of your, all your scraps. Like all your tiny scraps and you glue it together. And you make serendipity paper, like one of a kind paper. I total, we totally appreciate you. Oh, I love Lizzie. Lizzie, we love you if you're still here. We love you, Lizzie. Lizzie's our unicorn. What did you do, Vic? You went in your mail and you got happy mail? What? Well, Jillian, we love you. Come back. Nobody, nobody's, we are, we're sorry. Okay, now I just have to decide my next pages. So here I have these. I have all these ones that are sort of like blue and gold. And these were all from my painted papers. And I just cut a bunch of them up. I actually cut a bunch to send in some happy mail. And then when my daughter says, I have 11 presents, I was like, oh, I guess I'll be making 11 pairs of earrings. So, well, some of them are painted on both sides. That's good. Yeah, use your serendipity paper and they come out awesome. They come out. You're not in timeout, Jillian. We're sorry. <laughs> Susan dropped her phone, Jillian. You're not in timeout. Oh my God, you guys. Were you guys here the night that we had the most raunchiest troll ever? It was horrible. That was like, that was like ridiculous. Okay, these two kind of go together because they've got a little pink on them. So that those could be a pair. So if I send any of you a pair of earrings, don't be insulted. If you, Don't be insulted by my painting paper earrings, okay? <laughs> Susan has a dangerous big toe. Oh no, Susan! <laughs> Uh, no, it wasn't Pocket Man. Pocket Man never came here. Pocket Man was only in the, only on the, oh my God, Pocket Man. Oh my God. He was good for a laugh. Pocket Man just showed me how, you know how you think you're all like, I can do that or whatever. And then you're like, Pocket Man just showed me how like, how I'm really naive, you guys. Pocket Man. Pocket Man was ridiculous. Pocket Man, oh my god. Pocket Man was good for a laugh, though. Pocket Man was great for a laugh. Those are kind of good. I was looking to see if I had another one that had these little gold flecks on it, but I don't guess I did. I guess I wasn't gold flecking that paper. We totally put Pocket Man in a permanent timeout. We totally did. Oh my god. You've been kind of lurking. Well, we love you, Lizzie. We were just talking. You're the unicorn. 
You're our unicorn, Lizzie. Did you get your fruit cake? Did anybody make you a fruit cake, Lizzie? I heard you say you wanted one. I don't make. I don't have a good fruit cake recipe anymore. My my. I asked my sister if she could if she could find our grandmother's one, and she was like, no. And we called our aunt, and she's the one that's on our our card, our greeting card on the rack on the Christmas card list. Her name is Pat. She's like in her eighties. And she said it, it it drowned when the her house went underwater. So I was like, oh no. So I'm sure one of our distant relatives has must have a I'm sure one of our relatives must have the the must have the The recipe but she couldn't she couldn't tell it to me or I would have happily have made you one does anybody have a good fruit cake recipe and she didn't I didn't even see his gift you guys I'm so stupid I'm like stupid he gave us such a good laugh you guys but I was like I'm like naive I'm like living in my own world you guys if I'm painting backs of pop tart boxes you know I'm not looking I'm not seeing that sort of stuff and I wasn't, I wasn't seeing it. I was completely ridiculous. How is this pocket? I don't know. You know what? I'm just like, oh my God, you guys. Seriously. What do you guys think about this whole internet thing? This whole internet, this whole FCC going to regulate our internet or whatever. Tell us what we can have access to and not have access to. <laughs> Susan said she opened her Facebook and he almost poked her eye out. You are so bad. <laughs> Carolyn says she has a really bad... A really bad, a really bad fruitcake recipe. Can you guys hear the kids screaming outside? I've said to them a bunch of times, I've said, please stop. But one of them is trying to be um, a superhero. If you guys could hear the conversations at my house, you would die laughing. Who hates what? You get fruit cake from the Dominican nuns. Is it good? <laughs> you were in the live stream right after his poking. Oh my God, Malia! You guys, we la I laughed until I cried because we were all trying to be all PC, or I was at least, commenting on his bad art, his bad lady part art. He was ridiculous. He was so ridiculous. He made bad lady pot art and graffiti. It does sound like they're dying outside. No, he's running around with a Superman cape on. So earlier, so yesterday my daughter asked me if I would cook her rice and beans, if I would make black beans. She loves beans, and I make all kinds of beans, different kinds, but she really loves black beans. I said, yeah, but I don't have any cilantro. I like to put cilantro in it. So today, I guess on the way home from school, she convinced Hottie to go because he went to pick her up. She convinced him to stop at the store and buy cilantro. And he, like, texted me. and goes, do we need cilantro? I said, yeah, if you guys want black beans. And he goes, I didn't even know we were having black beans. So she, that's how bad she wanted black beans. So I made black beans. And I make them in a pressure cooker. I had soaked the beans overnight. And then I, um, I make them in a pressure cooker. They take, like, from, from soaked overnight to cooking, it's like 15 minutes. So you soak them, you know, soak them. Or I, they weren't even overnight. It was like whatever part of the day yesterday. And then I didn't make them yesterday because I didn't have any cilantro. And, um. So I put them in the fridge last night and drained them and put them in the fridge. Sometimes they sprout in there, which they are really good when they sprout as well. Anyway, so the little boy that's running around outside, it sounds like he's in pain or whatever because he's thinks he's Superman. He comes and he yells for her. 
you know, would she come and play? And then, of course, the dog starts barking. When he's standing outside, he goes, I smell something really good. He just keeps saying that over and over again. I said, would you like some? Can you hear him? He's got, a, he's got a red cape on. I should take a picture of him. He keeps saying, I smell something really good. And Hottie's laughing because, you know, he has boys. He has sons. They're grown now, but, you know, boys and they're eating. And I said, well, do, would you would you like some rice and beans? He says, oh, I thought you'd never ask. You guys are so ridiculous. Well, I made black beans and rice. That's what I made. It didn't even, I was going to make something else to go with it, but she, that's all she wanted. So I told her I'd make her something else later if she wanted. Okay, so here's one, and it needs to dry. Because I just wanted to paint the little inside so that you wouldn't see the there's a mosquito on me so that you wouldn't see the pop tart box yeah it's the painting it's not the paint it's not gone is it gone no it's not all right I'll go back and look I didn't take it down all right I'll go back and look I don't think painty paper pocket man's gone I'll make sure. I didn't take it down. All right, I'll go back and look. Maybe I archived it. Some of them I tried to, some of them I tried to um, edit. I tried to use this editing software and it just didn't work. So then I was like, I forget it. It was taking me too long. I will find paint. I will put painted paper. Po I will put Pocket Man back up there. If he's if he's if he's not. I thought I had put everything back up. I didn't think there was anything not up there, but I'll look for it. It was completely ridiculous, Pocket Man. Oh my God, Cheryl! We deleted his photos. We should have kept him in the photo archives just so everybody could have seen, but we didn't. It was so ridiculous. We laughed so hard till we cried. Oh my god, that was like ridiculous. Painty paper pocket man. It's so ridiculous. Poor Hottie, he's not even getting anything good for Christmas. I ordered him. Gosh, it's so ridiculous. He needed new jeans. He's really skinny and tall, so I had to order him for like a big and tall or whatever you know because he's so tall the jeans that he gets and he's anyway got him a pair of jeans isn't that exciting i know it's all he wanted was food <laughs> but i had offered it when he came in i said do you want any he didn't say anything and he just kept saying sure smells good you guys would have laughed it was really cute He's like nine, I think, eight or nine. He's really cute. <coughs> a PSA for Crafting Mom. This is what not to do when Crafting Mom is, oh my God. Uh, I'm not keeping them all to myself. I didn't even notice it. You know what? I was going to put all those videos in a playlist because there's just so many of them, but I haven't done it. Okay, all you lurkers, say hey. Say, hey, you know what? If you wanted to make your journaling charms like this, they would be awesome. If you made a bunch of paper journaling charms and dangled them off the side of your journal, I think they would look good. I think they would be awesome. Please do not expose your art. You're so hilarious. You're absolutely right. All your husband wanted for Christmas was a nostalgic what? I don't even know what that is. A nostalgic taster? What is that? Well, he didn't ask for anything. Toaster. He wanted a nostalgic toaster, okay. 
Yeah, we'll definitely do the empowerment cards. I think we're going to, I think what we'll do is we'll, after Christmas, we'll start on them in the live stream because I've made a bunch of decks of them. We'll start on them in the live stream and we'll say that we'll mail them out in February or something like that or March. And then you guys will all mail them to me. I'll mix them all up and then I'll mail them out to everybody. I know. I was like, I don't know what a nostalgic taster is. <laughs> Hi, Sean. Sean always comes when we talk about dirty things. Sean, you must have some, I don't know, radar. The FCC interference already. Oh, no. That was Sean's intro. How are you, Sean? Hi, Nana. Well, Sean, do you have a girlfriend? We're making paper earrings. You could make her some. I don't I don't know if that'll win you any brownie points. It would if you were making them for one of us. Oh, Misty. Lizzie is lovely. I love watching her videos. She makes me laugh. I watch her videos when I can't sleep. I, you guys, I don't sleep a lot. And I watch her. I love to watch Lizzie's videos. Yes, Lynn, a pizzle in the pocket. <laughs> oh, yeah, Lynn. I was there at Stacy's when you guys were on and on about the pizzle. I was like, oh, no. So ridiculous, the pizzle. Now, we were just talking about this horrible guy that we had in our Facebook group that took pictures of his pants, and, and oh, my God. That was before you came along, Trace. You missed it. You missed my ridiculous, naive self. You missed it. You missed my ridiculous, naive self. You made more painting papers today? Oh, my gosh. You did. Scotty sent me a blank power pack. You did. You totally did. <laughs> you, did. <laughs> you did. You sent me a blank power pack. So now I can make even more cards. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. I hope one of you guys comes to Hawaii. I hope one of you guys blesses me with your presence and comes to Hawaii. I've been trying to talk Susan into coming, but... She's got other things on her plate. She buying a house, okay? She can't be coming here. She be buying a house. She's not coming. She and Bet be buying the house. They be getting a house, getting themselves a brand new house. You're sending Tiger a, you're sending Tigger a pizzle? Oh, that's so funny. What was the truth? What did I miss? Sean, if you, Sean, I missed what was the truth. Was it about the girlfriend or the paper earrings or none of the above? I did, I have, well, take your time, Liz. We have we'll we'll work on them all of January. Hi, Southern girl. How are you? It, I, I, we'll send them in January, okay? I've made so many. I've made so many. I have got a whole bunch going on. You guys, have you guys all joined Recycle Bank? Did you guys go do Recycle Bank and get your free magazines? Ash told us all about it. And I finally broke down and did mine yesterday. I've, I, I did one, I don't know. Anyway, I went and I got, I, I ordered four magazines yesterday. I did whatever. You have to read these articles. And then, <laughs> Susan, you're terrible. I can make some excellent tea. You're a singleton now. I can't tell you you're going to meet some good girls in Maui. I don't know, you guys. I, I have to tell you, I don't know if I would have moved here being single. 
It's 4 a.m. in Ireland? Oh my gosh. Liz, you got time. How have you been feeling, Liz? Tell us about you. I've been worried about you a little bit. Are you better? I put it this way, you've just been in my mind, that's all. Alaska Airlines has some one-way specials. Alaska Airlines has a great... You got 12 magazine subscriptions, Susan? Hi, Lucinda! Recycle Bank, you get all these free magazines, Care. You get, like, um, it's RecycleBank.com. You, you read these articles about recycling or whatever. They give you discounts on other things, but you just want to redeem your points for magazines. We just did it so that we would have magazines, because some of us don't have them. And they have all kinds of them, like um, Oprah. You can get Oprah for free, Elle. Um, they didn't have Vogue when I went on. They have Harper's Bazaar. You're working in the office, not in the field yet? Ooh, well, I hope you... They do have Southern Living. They also have... Um, oh, my gosh. You don't need more magazines. Well, they're free, Mary Kay, so you don't have to pay for them. But you have to answer these questions. You have to pretend you know all about recycling and read these articles and answer these questions. And then you get these points, and then you can redeem your points for free magazines. They, I don't think they had Veranda when I got mine. I think they had, and they didn't have W, because I really wanted W, because you said they had W, you got W. Um, what did they have for me? They had People Magazine, but I didn't get that one. I tried to get the fashion ones, Bazaar, uh, Harper's Bazaar, and I don't know, a couple of other ones I got. So that's what I got. I did that. It, it is kind of cool. I mean, it is a cool way to get a bunch of magazines for free. And, you know, I like the idea of, like, not spending any money on it. So I can save all my money for paint because, you know, I need more paint because why? I have to do painty papers. I have to make painty papers because my life would not... I can't live without painty papers. You have insomnia, Missy Dawn? Oh. You know, I do too sometimes. I love to watch. Um, guys, I've been sort of obsessed lately with Guys are gonna laugh when I tell you. Handbag making with hand, making handbag videos, like and quilting videos. I used to quilt all the time, but I don't have a quilting frame anymore, and it's just too much. So I've been watching people quilt. <laughs> she let you come up, Lucinda. Oh, that's awesome. That's so awesome. Care, tell me what you're working on right now. What are you making? What is on your crafty what is on your crafty wish list right now? What are you making? Oops. Blew away. Mary Kay, I don't know if you can ever have too much. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Susan is a wordsmith. She totally is. So, Sean, what did you get your main sister that gave you your brother's old jumper for Christmas that year? What did you get? What did you get her for Christmas? Did you 
get her anything. You can make her some paper earrings. Probably actually nicer than what she gave you. Well, I just I just cut that thing and it flew away and I don't even see it. It's so ridiculous. And my space is so tiny. <laughs> subscribe. Susan, subscribe to Word a Day. Oh, Susan, don't even tell them about your words a day. You're like, you're hilarious. I'm throwing my stuff around. If you have a die cutting machine, you guys, this would go even faster than my ridiculousness. If you have a die cutting machine. You know what I'll do is when I finish all of them, I'll post them all in the group. I'll post all of them because I have to I have to be finished with them by Monday because Monday is Monday's the day she has to take them in. You might have to get an orange wrench. You're so funny. You've been watching dumpster divers? Like, what are they diving for, Mary Kay? You're doing a children's book for your grandson? Oh, that's so awesome, Care. Oh, that's so awesome. I like dumpster diving, but not the one that has food in it. I don't like that. Shazam. You're making it mixed media? Oh, that'll be awesome, Care. That'll be so awesome. You guys, if you guys haven't gone over to the group, a little snack while you dive. You're terrible. Hi, Tris. We didn't have a troll today. We did not have a troll today. Not at all. Susan dropped her phone and hit it with her big toe. But other than that, we didn't. <laughs> American Pickers. I haven't seen American Pickers. Sean, you guys must have the, the most ridiculous ideas of what Americans are. You know, we're not all like that. <laughs> Most of us are fairly normal. Most of us are fairly normal. I love American. I haven't even seen American Pickers. Really? They rent space from your cousin? That's cool. Is American Pickers the guy that goes around and goes in your goes into people's garages or whatever and then he finds real treasures? Is that American Pickers? <laughs> what? Scotty said her mom was walking around with a piece of ham on her neck. Ham on her necklace. What? <laughs> Okay, I was like, I've seen American Pickers. I thought it was like Dumpster Divers or one of those hoarders shows, you know? Mike and Frank. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Did, how did your mom... Wait, Scotty, your mom had... You get, your mother had a piece of ham on her necklace? Or you were wearing a ham necklace? What? <laughs> in their teeth and nobody telling them. Oh, you guys.
guys. I know it's not funny. Scotty, we love your mom, and I'm sorry I'm laughing, but it just, for whatever reason, I'd say it makes me laugh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Who dives at Michael's in, in Import Outlet? <laughs> Danny D is on fire. Or Danny D is hot. I don't know who's Danny D. Is she on is he on or he or she on America Bakers? <laughs> yes, yeah, Scotty. Did you tell her? Or did you just let it go? <laughs> you guys, I don't watch it enough to We love you, Fee. We love you, Fee. Better than a pork chop. You guys are terrible. Uh, <laughs> Scotty, you're terrible. Uh, oh my God, Scotty. Oh, Mom, by the way, do you show you have ham on your necklace? <laughs> okay, guys, I usually, like, tell people when they have stuff, but I worked with this woman, and she was horrible. Can I tell you? She was like, oh, my God. Anyway, she was completely horrible. And she was like, she thought she was, like, the shizzle, you know? And one day, one day, she was like, she had just been horrible, and... She'd gone somewhere and eaten something that had, like, greens or something in it. And we had to go into this huge meeting. And I didn't tell her, you guys. She had this big green thing in the front of her teeth. And I didn't tell her. <laughs> I didn't tell her. I thought, you know what? For all the time, you've been horrible. I'm not telling you nothing. And you guys, it was the best. And no, it seems so terrible, but it was the best. I enjoyed it tremendously. She had green in her teeth the whole meeting. I didn't say a word. <laughs> that was my revenge. <laughs> she picked it up and ate it. <laughs> oh my God, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Scotty. Okay, and then I worked with this guy who was a total, oh my god, you guys, I used to run this big company, and I worked with some of the craziest people, can I just tell you, like, seriously crazy people. Anyway, I worked with this guy, and he was a jackass, okay, he was a complete and utter jackass, and he would, he, he was just... Anyway, one day, he, he had this enormous booger hanging out of his nose, okay? <laughs> and I didn't tell him. And we had, he was just a jackass, and I didn't tell him. And we had to go into this presentation with all these people, and every time he talked, the, the booger would come out. And then he would go back in his nose. And you guys, it was the simple pleasures in life. It was like, I was like, okay, cool. I was like, cool, you know. I was like, cool, cool, cool. Hang on one second. You can stay out a little longer, okay? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, bye. What? <laughs> you guys see I don't get mad I just get even and I do it I do it in a way that works best for me and you guys it gave me such joy to see the booger coming out of his nose during this presentation oh my god if I told you guys and he was also paranoid okay and we worked for this company that had cameras everywhere okay <laughs> We worked with this company that had cameras everywhere, like everywhere, literally everywhere. And um, 
and they had, have you guys ever seen, you know when people are putting shelving up and they put those, um, my gosh, what are they called? Like, uh, <laughs> peekaboo booger, it's exactly, it is called karma. It was like the best, okay? <laughs> anyway, so they had, you know, like when you put, you know those butterfly um, screws in a wall and they have like those little plastic black things <laughs> that are gray things and they look they're like little so they're remodeling we had like a back room and we had a bathroom and I knew he was paranoid and I and he he was like always convinced that they were watching us and I was like well if you don't have anything to hide who cares you know anyway I, I didn't have time for that so so then what I told him one day was that I came out and I didn't tell him I said it to another woman because I know he likes to eavesdrop I told this other woman, I go, you know what? Have you seen these new pinhole cameras? And she was like, no. No, she knew exactly what I was doing. I said, you know, they're like really tiny. And I said, they can fit in the most obscure places. And I said, you know, I was watching something on television where they showed how they'd put a pinhole camera <coughs> where a cash box was. Anyway, I told us. Anyway, I said, you know, I think they're about the size of those, of <laughs> those, of those little, those little black things that are on the wall in the in the break room and in the bathroom. And she was like, yeah, probably. I go, yeah, I go, that would be like a really great place to put a pinhole camera. Now, you guys, there were hundreds of these like little black things because they were like in the middle of renovating and they hadn't finished. You guys, like a couple, and then I was off for a couple days. A couple days later, I came back and there was... <laughs> There was toilet paper stuck in hundreds of those little black holes, the little black things, the little plastic things. There was hundred. There was toilet paper stuck in hundreds of them. Okay, because <laughs> he is such a he was so bad that I knew that I didn't know he would do that, but I just thought it would make him like think people were watching him when he was in the bathroom or when. And you know, I know that you can't put a camera in the bathroom, but he was so stupid he didn't know that. <laughs> I'm so, Joyce has tears running down. We're like, you guys are so bad. Anyways, I loved it. Between that and the booger and the green thing in someone's teeth, you guys have no idea. I used to play like total pranks on the people that I used to manage all the time. I did the most ridiculous stuff to them. And then I was like so stern and acted like nothing. They never knew. It was awesome. <laughs> Can you imagine? I ended as a parent a guy with a minor, minor thought of paranoia, <laughs> thinking that there is like <laughs> people are watching him. Hundreds of them. Oh, I, I wish I'd taken a picture of it. <laughs> like somebody really wanted to see his pocket. Exactly. And his boogers, right? Oh my God. You guys. Oh my God. It made me so happy. It was so totally ridiculous. But the fact that he had, anyway, it was ridiculous, but it was all good. <laughs> Hi, Laura. <laughs> uh, I'm horrible like that, you guys. I just, just, I can't help it. I try, okay? I try, but I just can't. I have like a side to myself that's like that, and it's like not, and I'm, and I play jokes on people, and, and I, my kids tell me that I'm evil, because I do it to them too, you guys. I totally do it to them. They do it to me, though. They totally do it to me. That's <laughs> course, Scotty. Now you have to be right back. <laughs> oh, well, we love you. Malia, when does your baby do? You found the Pocket Man video? Oh, good. If not, I'll go back and find it. <laughs> you know what? You gotta love her, Scotty. You got to love her. You got to love her. Oh, Mary Kay, I would, I would hold it in until they were all leave, leave, and then I would laugh. I would laugh, and I would come home, and I would tell Hottie, and he would laugh too, because they were horrible employees. You guys, they were horrible. They were horrible. <laughs> Pat found it. Yay, Pat! Rocket Pat! Pat!
Pat, go Pat, go. Go Pat, go. You're awesome, Pat. Thank you. Oh my God, you guys, you have no idea. I have a, a terrible mischievous side. I am like, I ha I do, I can't help it. I cannot help it. I have like a terrible, terrible mischievous side. I do, even, even if I don't want to, I have it. These are gonna be great earrings. I would actually wear these. Like look, they're that crazy stamp. Aren't they gonna be cool? They're that crazy circle stamp. They're gonna be great earrings. <laughs> Night, Jillian. <laughs> is it passive aggressive? Is that what it is, Lynn? <laughs> she said, oh, I was saving that. You know my dad would have said something like that too. <laughs> I think these are going to be cool earrings, though. Okay, who's up for some woo-woo? Does anybody want woo-woo, or are you guys woo-wooed out? Have I woo-wooed you out? And Susan told me, what did you tell me I knocked you? What did I tell you? You told me, I said, how are you? And you go, I'm the mo You said, what did you say? I said, how was the woo-woo? And you said something like, I said, it was, I don't know. If you guys are woo-wooed out, we don't need woo-woo. If you want woo-woo, I'm happy to do woo-woo. I'm not evil. You know what, Mary Kay? I'm probably, like, the most fairest boss ever. Like, give everyone the benefit of the doubt. But when there are people that bring try to bring other people down and just backbite and do crap, I, I really don't tolerate it. But you know what? I I get my revenge in a different way. Like, I have to tell you, the, the, the whole... The whole uh, the whole, the whole booger out of his nose. <laughs> that was brilliant, you know. I didn't even have to do it. He did it to himself. He didn't even look in the mirror. He didn't even, he didn't even bother to look in the mirror to see if he had a booger hanging out of his nose. <laughs> okay, if you guys want woo-woo, just everybody, t okay, woo-woo. Okay, we need woo-woo for Shelly and her sister. Yeah, definitely. We'll put Shelly and Marjorie in the woo-woo. And Vicky says she needs woo-woo. Okay. <laughs> you know what? It was just ridiculous. You guys, if you guys shattered me in any of my given days, you would see. I'm not a bad person. I really am. I'm not. But I do have a little mischievous side. And I, you know, it's just, you guys, I play jokes on my kids all the time. All the time. They are. They're just like, you guys, I've done, if I told you half the stuff I've done, you'd be like, oh no. I've done all kinds of crazy things to my kids. <clears throat> but that was just pure, like, me being like, these people were just complete and utter jackasses. And I was like, you know what, you were a jackass. And I don't, I'm not going to, so will you have a book ring out of your nose? <laughs> That, no, it's not what's wrong with my shoulder. You, my shoulder's a little better today. But um, I went and I've had acupuncture every single day. Yesterday was really bad, though. I think sometimes acupuncture, the acupuncture doesn't hurt. But it releases the pain. It releases the pain and the pain. You know, you hold, they call it your pain body, which is like the memory of the pain. And I have to tell you, it was like serious yesterday. The releasing of it was. Oh, love you, Trace. <laughs> I know you're not a bad person. Hi, Diana. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I do need a good chiropractor, Lynn, but my chiropractor is away until the beginning of January, and I went to see the other people, and it was just... You guys, there's wonderful things about living here in the tropics, but... The one thing that isn't good is medical care. So you cannot get you cannot get sick. Night, Sean. Yes, Nana is Tracy. Yes, Liz. 
Shelly and Marjorie, Carrie and her son, and also Jamie and her sister. And then there was somebody else, you guys. <clears throat> Everybody give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. Okay, so for those of you that want to do the woo-woo, um, take a quick bathroom break if anybody needs to. We'll start in a couple minutes. Um, take a quick bathroom break if you need to, and get some water. Get some water, because I'll, I'll do a little energy work with the water tonight, and then that'll help everybody during the week. Because if you're not coming over and doing the woo-woo with me, um, if you're not... And Carla's friend's son, okay. Aw, thanks, Joyce. The woo Sylvia, the woo-woo is just a guided meditation that brings you to you. It's a guided meditation for light. And you can bring anybody into it you'd like. And you can bring and send them love and light. It's just a guided meditation. It's just energy work. Have you ever... Have you ever, um, I'm trying to think of what I could liken it to. Have you ever gone somewhere and you just feel really good? And you just, you just feel really good afterwards, like really peaceful and calm and, and good and filled up with you? That's what it is. That's what it is. So... And I don't even know, because I would never normally tell you guys that I do the woo-woo. And that's what Huddy was like laughing the other day. He was like, yeah, when you outed yourself, oh, and I don't, honestly, I don't know why I did, because it's not something I would normally do. Not in, not like this, right? Because this is like really out there. I mean, I have lots of my own private clients and stuff like that. And I have lots of people that are referred to me. And they come to me for all kinds of reasons and different things, but... I don't even remember what happened. Was it because of Amberly? Was that why? Because of whatever what Amberly was going through. Has anybody seen her? How is she? I haven't seen her. Okay, you do that kind of meditation. So that's what it is, Sylvia. That's that's what I do. I mean, it's kind of I, I'm kind of giving you the abbreviated version. And I and I'm offering for the month of December. If you go over to, I have a, a very small blog. It really doesn't have much on it. It just gives people a point to find me. But if you go over to bodysoulalignment.com, you can sign up. Go to the homepage there, and you sign up, and you can, you'll get, like, tomorrow's woo-woo is at 9 p.m. Eastern. And then Saturdays is the same, I mean, Sundays is the same time, Mondays is the same time, Tuesdays will be um, at noon Eastern. And I'm offering 30 days, and we're on day, I think, 13 or 14 of the 30 days of free energy work. And some people have seen some really amazing changes for themselves. And the reason I did it was because this, the holidays are super stressful for everyone, even if you don't do a lot of stuff. The energy in general is stressful, right? So, Amberly put out some videos. Oh, good, and that means she's good. I she posted something in our group last week, I think, but it was like something she'd gotten from somebody. But I haven't seen her. Usually, I see much more of her, but I haven't. But you know, with the holidays, everybody's going through their own stuff. Hey, Marley. Okay, so has everybody everybody get a glass of water or a bottle of water? Because what I'm going to do today, which I haven't done before with you guys, but I do it with my clients, is and you can bring your water every time and it'll work this way. So the energy, you know, energy work is just a higher vibration. It's just a palpable vi vibrational energy of you. Did you hear me clearly? Of you. Okay. And what we'll do is while we're while we work on ourselves, 
will bring in that energy and it'll infuse itself into the water. And then if you drink the water all week long, you can add a little drop to anything you're drinking, your coffee, your whatever. Um, that energy is there with that. So it's kind of cool. You want to go home to your bed? I don't blame you, Scotty. I will. <laughs> Scotty, if you want a Diet Coke to work, a Diet Coke will work. I'm just going to grab my jacket, you guys. Let me just grab my jacket, everybody, and sit where you're comfortable. And if you're driving, please don't do this while you're driving. If you come back and listen to this, just listen to it when you're at home. Or, you know, like, it's not, it can put people in an altered state. You get into a deep state of relaxation, and then you're, you know, you're not as aware as you need to be for driving. You know what I mean? Let me just grab my sweater. It's gotten cold here, you guys. And I know you guys are making fun of me, but. You guys, our, our, our temperatures don't fluctuate more than 10 degrees all year long, from the coldest to the hottest, at least on the side of the island I live on, and every night it's been colder than that. So <clears throat> if you're used to like 80 degree days, and all of a sudden you're having 60 degree weather, it is a big weather change, and your body, or at least my body, feels it. So... Hi, Dust Fairies. You got here in time to do some woo-woo. Okay, so before we start the meditation, or the woo-woo as we call it, you can include anybody you'd like to include in it. All right? And so I invite you to include anyone. It can be like a neighbor. It could be your elderly parents. It could be your pets. You could bring in, we have some friends in our group that are having a really difficult time. You can bring them to mind, and you only have to bring them to mind one time. You don't have to keep repetitively thinking about them. Bring them to mind and, um, you know, allow, they will receive the energy work as well. But the key is only if their higher self allows it. So if somebody really doesn't want it, the energy work, um, it won't go to them, okay? So I don't want you to think that you're giving somebody something that they don't want. It just doesn't work like that. So find yourself a comfortable place to sit. And you can do this work with your eyes open or your eyes closed. I think that I prefer doing it. Um, with my eyes closed. I think that I think that you get the most benefit from it. <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. But you can do it either way. And all you need to do is inhale through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. That's it. That's all you need to do. And just listen. Okay? That's all. I'm just waiting a second so I can hear the dog and my daughter outside and I don't want them to come in and then when, right when we're starting our thing and uh, so <clears throat> okay here we go are you coming in please come in the dog will decide to bark or whatever. <laughs> Not that it matters, but you know what I mean. So inhale through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. And one more time, inhale through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. Ah. 
see yourself in a column of light. And when you look up, you can't see the top. And when you look down, you can't see the bottom. This is your column of light. Allow your column of light with every inhale and with every exhale to grow brighter and brighter and even brighter. Breathe in and receive this beautiful light that you are and allow your light to grow even brighter. And one more time, even brighter again. Allow your column of light to go deep, 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 and even deeper into the earth. Allow your column of light to reach deep into the heart of Mother Earth. And when you have reached as far as you can go, go just a little farther. Allow your column of light to have big tree roots, like oak tree roots. Allow these tree roots to spread far, deep, and wide. Allow your tree roots to grow even wider and bigger. And when you've gone as far as you can easily and effortlessly and enjoyably imagine, let's ask Mother Earth for her blessings, her energy. I see her energy as golden, but you can see, feel, think, or know your energy, her energy, any way that works for you. Breathe in and receive this beautiful golden earth energy up through your tree roots and up through your column of light, fountaining out the top of your head as high up as you can imagine. Feel this beautiful gold earth energy. Filling your feet and ankles, calves, knees, thighs, hips completely. Feel this energy rising up through the base of your spine, your lower abdomen, your solar plexus, feel it filling your heart your back, your shoulders, down your arms and out your hands. Feel it filling your chest and your back. Feel it filling your throat and the back of your neck. Feel it filling the back of your head, your whole face, and fountaining out the top of your head. Ready? Breathe it in. Breathe it in. And breathe it in. Feel this beautiful gold earth energy filling your whole column of light. Feel your connection to the earth.
allow your attention to go as high as you can easily, effortlessly, and enjoyably imagine. Allow your imagination to take you past the Earth, past our galaxy, focusing on the brightest sunlight that you can easily imagine. Allow yourself to focus on the farthest point of bright sunlight that you can imagine. Some call this the central sun. Some call it the source of sun. Allow yourself to imagine this beautiful gold sunlight. Allow your light to connect. Connect to this beautiful gold sunlight. Allow your column of light to grow roots at the top as well and root yourself into this sun energy this beautiful central sun energy. All you need to think is, I am connecting to the central sun. Now I'd like you to imagine receiving this beautiful energy. I see this energy as diamonds, like silvery diamond light, but you can see it any way that works for you. See and feel this beautiful diamond light pouring in your column of light through your whole body. And pouring out your feet deep, deep, deep below you and expelling any excess into your tree root from your tree roots into the earth. Ready, breathe in this beautiful, cosmic, angelic, heavenly, central sun energy. Breathe it in. Feel it filling your head and face completely. Your throat. Your chest. Your back. your solar plexus, your lower abdomen, and feel it pooling in the base of your spine and pouring out your hips, thighs, knees, calves, and ankles. Now at the bottom of your feet. Ready? Breathe it in. Breathe it in. And breathe it in. Feel your connection to heaven and earth. Now I'd like you to connect back to that central sun energy consciously. And on the inhale, I want you to receive divine love. Call on the spirit of divine love and the spirit of bliss. Receive divine love through that connection now. Ready, breathe it in. Breathe it in. Breathe it in. One more time. Breathe it in.
in one more time, breathe it in. Allow your attention to focus six feet above your head. Breathe in the energy of divine love and divine bliss. Ready? Breathe it in. Breathe it in. And breathe it in. And one more time, breathe it in. Allow your attention to go one foot above your head. Breathe in, receive divine love and divine bliss. Ready? Breathe it in. Breathe it in. Breathe it in. And one more time, breathe it in. Focus on the top of your head. Breathe it in. Breathe it in. And breathe it in. Focus on your sixth energy center between your eyes. Breathe it in. And breathe it in. And breathe it in. Receive divine love and bliss in your throat center. Breathe it in. Breathe it in. And breathe it in. And one more time, breathe it in. Allow your attention to focus in your heart. Receive divine bliss and divine love. Ready? Breathe it in. Breathe it in. Breathe it in. Breathe it in. Give yourself permission to receive divine love and divine bliss. Allow your attention to go to your solar plexus in your third energy center. Breathe in and receive divine love and divine bliss. Ready? Breathe it in. Breathe it in. Breathe it in. And breathe it in. Allow yourself to receive divine love and divine bliss in your third energy center. Focus on your second energy center. Allow yourself to receive divine love and divine bliss here. Ready? Breathe it in. Breathe it in. Breathe it in. And one more time, breathe it in. Focus on the base of your spine. 
invite into your body personality the spirit of divine love and divine bliss. Ready? Breathe it in. Breathe it in. Breathe it in. Breathe it in. Focus back on the central sun. Invite in the spirit of divine love and the spirit of divine bliss to fill every cell of your body. Feel this energy pouring in through the top of your head and expelling out the bottom of your feet deep into the earth. Ready, breathe in and receive divine love and divine bliss. Breathe in and receive divine love and divine bliss. Breathe in and receive it again. And one more time, receive it again. I want you to focus back on your heart. <clears throat> invite anyone in. Invite them in again. Anyone that you feel could use some divine love and some divine bliss. All you need to do is bring them to mind. You could also invite in your house, your pets, anything. Going on a trip, inviting your car, inviting your destination. Breathe in and receive divine love and divine bliss. On the inhale, receive in love, and on the exhale, send it out to the places you're focused on. Ready? Breathe in, receive in love. Receive in love. And give in love. Receive in love. And give in love. Receive in love. And give in love. I'd like you to image a figure eight, a big infinity symbol starting above your head, crossing in through your heart, entering deep into the earth, crossing back through your heart and ending where it began. On the inhale, receive love from divine source. And on the exhale, give back in love and gratitude to the divine source. Ready? Breathe it in. Receive divine love. Receive it. And give it back. Receive and give. Receive and give. Receive and give. And one more time. Receive. And give. And when you feel ready, open your eyes and come back. You guys feel free to share anything you experienced. There's no right or wrong. People experience things in many different ways. Some people see things, some people hear, some people think, and some people just know.
And there's no right or wrong. We're all different in that way. Feel free to share anything you like. I don't know about you guys, but I feel pretty blissed out. <laughs> I feel amazing, actually. So thank you for that. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it, as always. Oh, Shelly, I was holding you and Marjorie in my thoughts. Okay, bye, Dust Fairies. Big love to you. Love to you in India. Shelly, I know that it doesn't feel like you're going to get through this because it's so painful, but you will. Oh, I love you, Lynn. I was focusing on Danina's daughter and Danina as well. It does have a strong energy. It was really powerful for me too, Liz. You guys, please come over and join bodysoulalignment.com. Go to the homepage, sign up so that you get the link for the call. The replay lasts about four days. So if you don't make it to the call, you can listen to the replay. Awesome, Sylvia. I'm so happy. Oh, awesome. You know, so you can listen to the replay. It will support you in this time. Bye, Dust. It will support you in this time. And you are right. Whoever said that people get cranky and pissy at this time of year, you're absolutely right. And it, you know, it comes from a collective. You feel connection. Oh, Lynn, I'm so happy. I am so happy. You know, I just want you to know that there's no accidents. There's no accidents to why you guys would come here and hang out with me. And there's no accidents to why, even though at the time I didn't intend on, you know, I don't really tell anybody what I do. So I wasn't, for me to even out myself to you guys was crazy. I'm glad your hand feels better. I love you girls. You girls have no idea how much I love you. I think you are an answer to my prayers. You know, living here is not, living, I, we live in paradise, but it is not always easy. You know, there's not always, we all have different ideas and needs for community, right? And so, you know, I'm grateful that you guys are in my life. You have no idea. But please, please take advantage and use, oh, good. Well, Liz, you still feel the energy, even if you're not there for the live call. Yeah, it is pretty powerful. I, whatever we did today blissed me out, too. I wasn't, I don't know what's going to come. I don't, there's no plan. Sometimes it's a spark of what somebody's written to me in an email. There's no plan. You know, I just go with wherever the energy goes, you know. So it it, it is very powerful. It is. But listening to the replay, you get it just as if you were there. So I'm glad you get to listen to it, and I'm glad you're doing it. Because I'm going to tell you right now, it will make a it will make a huge difference in how you experience the holidays this year. It will make a huge difference because you will be. What the energy work does is it puts you in alignment with you, you in alignment with your energy, your higher self energy. Not, this, not the little self energy that gets caught up in all the turmoil, but the higher self energy. Lynn, we love you, and I, I'm, I'm praying your hand gets better, you know. But listen to it, Liz, you can listen to it more than one time. Listen to it as often as you want. There's no, there's no limits on it. You can listen to it as frequently as you would like. Your cats are blissed out. Isn't it cool? Animals are so sensitive. <laughs> now the cats are looking a little bit stoked. 
Yeah, poor Charlie this morning. Okay, so usually I do the woo-woo in the afternoon because it's just when my live stream is. But in the mornings, I do it at 7 a.m. when it's here. My house has been like a chaotic mess prior to that because, you know, getting ready for school and what have you. And then they leave. And this morning, good night, Edna. Sending you so much love. And this morning, the dog was like, I had to hold her. I was holding her the whole time we were doing energy work. And I don't normally do that. And she was so blissed out. It knocked her out. She was like, <laughs> she, she like fell out. But she had was so rambunctious. I was afraid she was going to start barking. Because, you know, now with all the holiday stuff, there's people delivering stuff all the time. You know, like, and it's crazy. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's like. They're delivering all the stuff and it's and it just sort of messes up your your routine. So Monday, Shelly, Monday night, I'll have woo woo. 9 p.m. Go and sign up, bodysoulalignment.com. And sign up and you'll get the link. It'll come in your email. And you can come. You fell asleep. That's awesome, Mary Kay. That's awesome because you know what that means? It means that you're getting it on a really, really deep, profound level. And that is, that's amazing. That's awesome. You know? That's awesome. Um, so Monday come and I will, there'll be energy work tomorrow, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday it'll be in the middle of the day. But you can come back and listen to the replay any time. Okay, anytime. Use it. It's a great tool. It's a great tool to allow yourself to be in your own bliss. Yes, we'll hold you up all day Monday, Shelly. We will. We'll hold you. Trust me. We will. And if you guys get a chance, head over to our Facebook group and send Jamie and Carrie some love. You know, Jamie just lost her sister last week, and Carrie just lost her son. And Jamie's the one that makes all the soap and stuff. So she's usually here. She might have been here earlier. I can't tell you how much you girls mean to me, how much I love you. I will definitely post pictures of my earrings. I hope you guys make some, okay? I hope you take your panty papers out and make some earrings. Go buy these earring findings. I mean, you can buy them. I think I think my package of these was like $2 and the package of this was a dollar, you know, and the little stoppers were like $2. So you could definitely have a whole bunch of Christmas gifts for those last minute Christmas thing people. And you could stamp on them too if you wanted to stamp words on them. I kind of like the way they look without it, but yes, prayers and positive thoughts. Absolutely. We'll be sending you prayers and positive thoughts, Shelly. You're, everything's going to be okay. I know it doesn't feel like it at this moment, but it will. You will. You will come through this. And you have to be kind with yourself, and you have to be just exactly where you are. Grief is so very personal, and you have to be where you are. You can't force yourself to be somewhere else. Honor your grief. Night, Joyce. I always love having you around, Joyce. You make me laugh. I love hanging out with you. We have to thank Scotty's mother for the ham laugh tonight. Oh, my God. You guys, I'm from the South. It is so Southern. It is so Southern. Night, CJ. Night, Sylvia. Night, night, girls. So I will see you guys on, def I'm, I'm around for the woo-woo all weekend long. Um, I will see you live on Tuesday. If you guys participated in our secret sister swap and you haven't mailed out your thing, can you send me your tracking number? And if you're having issues with it, just let me know. It's not like that big of a deal. I just want to make sure everybody gets their package. All right, my lovelies, big hugs. Big, big, huge, huge hugs. I hope you guys make some panty paper earrings. Good night, Marley. All right, girls. As always, from my heart to your heart, I'm sending you. What am I sending you? So very much aloha. See you guys. See you on Tuesday if I don't see you before then. All right, love you. Aloha.